Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, my Let's Play, such as it is. <laughs> as you will remember, I uh, nearly lost uh, my sanity when I realized I had taken over half the known world. And uh, not a moment too soon either, because uh, the Soviets are still uh, fighting me as viciously as they possibly can, even though they have almost no troops left. And uh, I just wanted to mention that I've got... I don't even have Panzer threes anymore, I've got Panzer fours now, so my army is going to be virtually unstoppable everywhere where I have tanks. They still just have the terrible BT-7, which is just a light tank that d I, I don't even think they equipped it with uh, armor-piercing rounds, at least in Men of War, it, it isn't equipped with it, so... So, you can just pretty much forget my whole idea about invading, invading Germany as the U.S. I mean, there really is no way that I... C I could possibly lose this. I mean, not in a million years, not not in a thousand. There's there's no way. There there is no way I could possibly lose this war ever, <laughs> unless I put the difficulty on like very easy and completely, and just make the AI sit there and not do anything. So I'm just gonna uh, go over here and take over Ireland and let's just finish this up. You know? I mean, come on. I've won. I have so won. I've had this game won the minute I started doing all the stuff that I was originally doing. I mean, it's it's over. It's it's so over, it's beyond over, you know? So let's just... Let's just finish this up. That's back there. I think I just went so completely insane when I uh, realized I'd taken over so much that I didn't even realize that I really was that powerful, you know, I just, I just was so ridiculously surprised, I just, I just thought I would lose so easily, you know, because I was just fighting everybody at once. I thought that when the Soviets declared war on me, I thought that was going to really send a shockwave through my entire army, but I guess not, you know, I mean, still doing pretty well, despite all the circumstances. I haven't pushed up as far as the uh, Germans did in real life into the Soviet Union, but in reality, I think I've taken over better land than they did. You know, I mean, for one thing, taking over Leningrad, that was huge. I, I really don't see how the Soviets are going to recover from that. And, uh, because that's pretty much cut off all their ports th off to the west, and the Japanese have taken over Vladivostok, and, uh, so yeah, they're really close, they're really, uh, they're 36% into their, uh, surrender progress, and as soon as I take over Moscow and a bunch of these other cities up here, it's, it's over for them, so... I might not even have to take over Odessa or Sevastopol. And not, they're not really that worthwhile either. Novgorod and a bunch of these others are about the same amount as them, but Moscow is like level, is uh, 30 victory points. Leningrad is only 20. You saw how much it decreased when I took over Leningrad. It was just ridiculous. I think, I think 20 points... Yeah, 20 point Leningrad made them reduce like 20... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... <laughs> I'm not gonna do the bet or any any, any stupid thing like that. I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna finish this. I mean, it's it's so over, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so let's just let's just get back to it. I sure hope Steiner doesn't die. Might know. Never know. Look at that. Even though I'm losing the battle at first, I'm starting to win the battle. It's just it's just how powerful my army is. I mean, I can even win these battles that are just ridiculously, you know, out of my, uh, out of my ability to win them, you know? It's just crazy. Oh my god. Nuclear physics, rocket science, all this stuff. Yeah, one, one division is beating off two. That's how powerful I am now, so. Yep. There really ain't that much they can do anyway. I mean, even if they did try to mount a counteroffensive, it really wouldn't be that much. And considering that I've got such good tanks now, I don't really see how they can possibly do anything to even stifle a mere millisecond of what I'm doing right now. I mean, it's just it's just so over. It's just ridiculous. Guderian and Rommel are just pushing them pushing them back like they're made out of just butter. I mean, it's just ridiculous. These guys just try to attack me everywhere. They just have no chance. 
They're literally trying to use HQs to fortify all this stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh, interesting. Huh. I guess there's some Soviet subs up there. Why don't I send some uh, ships over there? I think I'll send my fleet, and I will send my uh, transports back too. Let's, uh, let's get this. Let's get Raider over there to go hunt some subs. Can I actually do that? No, I guess I can't. All right, let's just move over there. All right. Uh, Actually, let's do. Let's get these guys to patrol. Well, let's let's actually rebase them in uh, Danzig first, and then uh, where are all my destroyers? I can't remember. I had a bunch of destroyers sitting around. I got a bunch of subs. Yeah, those will probably do fine. Let's just have them uh, have them patrol around there too. Let's have them rebase first. And I think I got rid of a lot of my destroyers. Actually, I haven't really built that many, so. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I've got so many, it's just... I've got so many everything, you know, it's just practically over. It's, it's, it's over, it's, it's so over, it's over, you know? You, you know that feeling when you, when you just won everything and there's just nothing anyone can do about it, you know? You've literally gotten so powerful that it's, it's beyond all hope. Oh my god, look at all these con convoys I have to maintain. Yeah, I'm probably going to need to build more. In fact, I've got so goddamn much IC, I probably should actually build some more. Uh, let's see here. So, um, damn, what should I build? I think I'll build a hundred convoys if I can. Let's see. How many can I get out? Uh, let's try about 50. That'll probably be good enough. I think every every uh, convoy you build is like 10, 10 convoys. So, yeah, that'll pr probably be good. Yeah, just get those out. I'm already building those, uh, five tank divisions to, uh, supplement my forces with, uh, all the rest of the stuff I need. What do the Italians want? Oh, you want to give me energy. I really wish the game would just end. I mean, wh once you've taken over all this stuff, yeah, yeah, I mean, go ahead. Just, the only problem with all this is that these idiots are going to start taking over a lot of this stuff, but I, I don't care. It's not that much I see, and it doesn't really matter. Oh, look at that. They're actually breaking through over there. I don't know how they're doing it, but uh, they, for some reason, are managing to do it. Hmm. Well, I can stop that. Oh, I guess I need fuel for those guys. Those guys are just a tiny bit finished. So, uh, these guys to go over there. You guys attack those guys before they move up. Yeah, it's not completely in the bag. I mean, I, I do have to be careful about how I fight these last battles. I've got to make sure I don't lose too many men. And I could really blow it here if I uh, screw up and let the uh, let the Russians push through or anything like that. I'm just gonna cancel the stupid convoys. Why, why are they all coming out of Danzig anyway? Or Konigsberg? Why are they even coming out of Konigsberg? They should be coming out of like Norway. Well, like the Netherlands actually, but whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't even need supplies over there anyway. I don't have anything to build. I 
Yeah, let's try to attack my tank division. Oh, and you're gonna surround Rommel and Guderian. Like, I'm really gonna let that transpire. Yeah, you're you're finished, you idiots. All the Yugoslavs actually want to trade with me now. I, gu I guess they realize that uh, the guys who own half the Earth are probably uh, going to win the war, not the uh, guys who own only a quarter of the Earth. Let's see. Yeah, let's put these guys attack there. And these guys will attack. Uh, actually, we'll have them support attack. And these guys will move up. No, never mind. I guess they won't. Not those guys attack. So once again, we've got them on their heels, and they're pretty much just running away right now. Yeah, we don't even need that many guys over there. Let's just drive these guys out. Or with Finland. Take back V. Paris for the uh, German people. The Germanic people, that is. That was one hell of a battle. Yeah, let's see why. Yes, 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 I know. You're always raiding my convoys whenever you get the chance. You piss on the on the toes of the giant, I know. You love to do that, don't you, Ian? Don't you? I'm not really sure why my, uh... I guess they just haven't found any guys. Alright, I don't know why the, uh... No, they're tagging my HQ. It's probably where my units are moving out without... Yeah, it's... Wait, where is it? I don't know where it could be, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, let's see. What, what was I trying to do? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to try to get rid of all these uh, convoys. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of them. Let's just get rid of all these con... Well... Eh, where the hell are these even going? So they're raiding the ones over here, so I really do need some more destroyers. I don't know why my ships aren't uh, killing off these uh, con these uh, convoy raiders, but uh, yeah. Well, let's try to intercept instead of patrol. Maybe that's a better idea. Oh, that was it. I moved my HQs up before my uh, infantry. That's okay. Point this any they anyway their their attacks are so short sighted and hopeless it's just ridiculous. Oh I can do a national decision. Interesting. What's this? Encirclement forced Germany into war in nineteen fourteen and the blockade brought her to her knees. Conquest in the East will neatly solve both of these problems allowing Germany to fulfill her des fulfill her destiny. Yeah, they still haven't corrected that spelling mistake. Oh, I see. I finally get my bonus. Yeah, that's right. I haven't even been fighting these guys with a bonus other than the uh, one that you're supposed to use against Poland and France. <laughs> so this is going to give me more combat movement speed, more organization regain, more supply throughput, more hard and soft attack, more convoy rate efficiency, and more manpower. Excellent. Screw you, Stalin. I can get my own bonus, too. It's time for you to die. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna stop your stupid attacks. You were not going to be nearly as effective as you were before, you idiot. <sighs> Alright, fine. I'm just gonna stop all those convoys. Yeah, all these convoys that don't have anything in them, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna delete them. All of them. I don't even need all these convoys. I mean, seriously, they're just ridiculous. I don't need all those resources. I can I can build all this stuff without them. Let's just cancel all these convoys until I can get some more, uh... Yeah, let's not build nearly as many uh, convoys as I was going to. Uh, let me, uh... Let's just cancel all these ones that aren't, uh... Well, actually, I don't need to... Yeah, I, I do need to cancel those because they're too, uh... Too much. Yeah, just all those. Tel Aviv. I don't get it. Why the hell would I even transport those over there? Romany. Where's Romany at? Let's see. Uh, there it is. 
Well, I don't need that over there. That's ridiculous. It's, the Italians can supply their own troops. What, the f what is wrong with the goddamn... No, I don't need to do that either. Uh, yeah, we don't need that either. Bombay to Konigsberg. Okay, that's alright. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Whatever. Yeah, let's uh, cancel some of those convoys so I can get some destroyers. Probably no, won't need to cancel that much. Let me see how many destroyers I'll probably need. I think I'll probably need 10 destroyers to secure most of my convoys, so let's just order those guys out. Let's uh, get rid of more of these convoys so I can do this. I'm probably going to start losing IC because I canceled all those convoys because I might be uh, losing all the uh, resources that I need to do all that. Right now I need to fi finish off the Soviets so then I can start consolidating my empire. I think I can call it an empire now, really. <laughs> Not just a tiny realm and corner of Europe. I mean, I'm practically the world right now. <laughs> Alright. So when these guys finally all get down to uh, Ireland, I'm going to take it over and then uh, we'll take these guys down to Switzerland, take that over, we'll take out it out Yugoslavia, take out Romania, and then have these guys push up with Hungarians and uh, maybe take out Bulgaria too. I bet Greece is about to surrender. That's good. Yeah, that's right, you idiots. You attack me, and that's all that ends up, uh, Oh, that's right. Alright, alright. Let's cancel that convoy too. Alright, there we go. That'll stop eating up all my convoys. Stand in the Konigsberg. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of losses from that one, probably, especially since I don't have very decent destroyers. Hmm. It's kind of unfortunate that the Hungarians have to, uh, have to still be part of the Axis, because uh, they're kind of crappy, mostly, in this game. They really don't have that much in terms of manpower. Power. What the hell? Why are, why are these convoys... Come on! Okay, I, I am going to create my own convoys. This is just ridiculous. Alright. Yeah, auto-maintain, that's alright. Auto-create, destroy, supply... Yeah, I, I want to do that myself. I, I really do. This is ridiculous. I don't need these convoys going from Dubai. When I'm not at war, I'll, tur I'll turn it back on just so the AI can fix everything. But I don't need all these convoys. Well, that's that's okay. Yeah, you know, all these things that aren't going through the uh, um, the Baltics, I'm just gonna let them. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, Leningrad, that can't work. That won't work. Uh, yeah, that won't work. Just gotta get rid of all these random convoys that are getting attacked. That's okay. That's okay. That's not. Well, actually, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah that's gonna get attacked. Um, what else? Oh, I think that should be it. Let's make a new convoy. Let's have it go from, uh, let's see, where's the, uh, supply base? In fact, why don't we do this? Why don't we make the convoy go from, uh... Wait a minute, why do I even need a convoy over there? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. I don't need a convoy over there. That's ridiculous. I have a land route. Well, we'll just see if the game functions properly with that. Alright, let's just see what it does. I hope I don't start running out of supplies. That would be horrible. Yeah, they just keep taking over random stuff. It's not that big of a deal, really. I mean, in reality, there really isn't anything down here. I mean, we're just fighting over scraps. This is really the big, the big key here for this war. guys off. Let's have these guys support attack. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Take over Dubai. Take over everything. I'm gonna take over the whole world, you idiots. So as soon as I get down there. So let's see. Where is Moscow? There it is. So if I move these guys up here and take out all this, I think I can just come down here and take Moscow right out from under them. I should seal the deal. From there on, I can just keep 
pushing forward and uh, taking out more and more of their stuff. So I can have these uh, HQs take out that, and then we'll just push these guys through there and have them take out those guys over there on the side. Come on, you stupid fins, join my damn alliance. God, they're so close, and yet they still won't join. I don't know why. Why are we suddenly losing that fight? How do you possibly lose your organization that fast? That doesn't make any sense. And why are these guys moving up? That doesn't make any sense either. I hate it when they randomly take over stuff. I really do. This is so... stupid. Well, if I had more men and more tanks, that would really even the odds down here, but, uh... Such as it is, I, uh, don't have that much. I'm having to resort to using infantry. Oh, come on. Goddamn cowards, they just keep attacking you every time. Alright, uh, let's see. I guess I can move these infantry down there. I guess I'll move these guys down there, too. I don't need any infantry to take out that out. Yeah, let's just have Schwarzenberg come down there and help him out, too. Alright, let's kill these guys. Yeah, they're starting to lose the battle, that's good. Yes, oh man, take everything that I have. I bet the Italians aren't even going to try. Oh, they're taking over Iraq, that's good. Let's set, uh... Oh, I have set them as a, uh... War goal, never mind. Hopefully the Japanese will finish those guys off. I think the militia, yeah, the militia is just sitting there, so... That's the only revolt I've gone in all these territories I've taken. Yes, 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 I don't care. I really don't. <laughs> I support that attack. The fall of Leningrad. Leningrad, the birthplace of the Russian Revolution, has fallen to the advancing German forces. Sporadic fighting can still be heard from some suburbs, but a strange calm has settled over the rest of the ruined city. Columns of German soldiers march past St. Isaac's Cathedral, whose great dome, painted gray earlier by the Soviets to avoid the attention of marauding bombers, is riddled with bullet holes and shrapnel impacts. That's right, because I'm not using bombers anywhere, and I'm just fucking attacking them everywhere, so I'm just winning. Like a real general would win, without any support. I'm not like... <laughs> I'm not like the Americans where I have to rely on, on a thousand airstrikes to decimate like two guys. No, my army is good enough. Yeah, and that's right, the Soviets just get their cheap little air attacks in and they don't do anything, of course. Hmm, that's bad. They lost a lot of guys and... So did I. Yeah, this is just a this is just a bloodbath down here, so I just don't have any tanks to spare over there. I need I need all these tanks to break through these lines, really. I mean I I mean I could move some of them down, but I, I think I really should keep these up here because if I if I move them back it might be a lot worse than the way it is now. I, I don't even know why I'm attacking there. That's really this unit needs to recover. I'll I'll just push those guys back and just wait. Okay, that's good. Why are those guys moving over there? They should attack that. Alright. So these guys attack there. I don't know why I only have one unit there, but whatever. Let's just have these guys support attack. Yeah, that should work. I'm sort of curious what the losses are like for the Soviets. So let's see, entire conflict. I don't care about naval or land. Or air, rather. Wow, they have lost 24,000 manpower and 24,000 IC, and I've only lost like 4,000 IC and 1,000 manpower. That's pretty goddamn huge of a difference, especially since I've been gradually building up the German army while all this has been going on, you know. And I could be a lot more efficient. I mean, I could I could surround them, and that would probably 
you know, I could do massive encirclements like I've seen a bunch of guys try to do, and that, that would definitely make it uh, happen even faster and more efficiently with fewer losses. But, you know, something... The game's won. I don't care. <laughs> We're gonna win. That's all I care about. I know taking a few losses is asinine, but... Well, one of these guys would probably die anyway, so... Let's just get it over with. everybody in their way. They really don't have any chance against those kind of generals. I mean, you've got guys that are so good, they don't even have to try. It's just ridiculous. And when you give enough, you know, military might to them, they'll, 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 de de they'll defeat any army, you know, no matter what the hell it is. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff out of uh, research dates. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's have that stop. What else should we stop researching? Physics, science, and aircraft artillery. Yeah, we don't need that. That's useless. Uh, let's uh, stop those theories. Let's get these theories going instead. have one less. I think the reason why I can't support as many projects is because um, since my empire is so huge and Dali, the, the uh, research is a lot. Oh, that's interesting. Um, sure. Does that mean the Yugoslavs actually want to join the Axis? Oh, they're really close. Yeah, they're drifting towards the Axis. That's good. Maybe I can have them join the Axis instead of just die. How are the Romanians doing? Are they really close? Eh, they're pretty close. They're drifting pretty close. I, I think they're getting, uh, yeah, they're... Oh, that's right, I'm influencing them. Why does it even have the UK? They don't even exist anymore. Alright, I think I'm about ready to attack the, uh, Irish. I'll wait until my, uh, army is, uh... Well, you know, un until it's, uh... Oh, my first carrier group is finally finished. Uh, let's, uh... Let's move this into a port that has a uh, an air base. Actually, that doesn't matter. I'll just move them into one of the air bases nearby, like Amsterdam. Right, let's uh, attach these guys. I can't remember how. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's for basing. Ah, there we go. Now they're attached. Excellent. So now my carriers finally have actual planes to them. I'm gonna have to wait though because uh, they're not very organized. They don't have any fuel either. So uh, yeah, let's keep pushing these guys back. You know, my worst generals are really good at killing these guys. It's just mocking at this point. Oh, I finally reached Kiev down here. That's good. Looks like the Hungarians are starting at... Oh my god, look at how few men they have down here. Well, screw that about, about the Soviets being super strong down here. They don't have anything, practically. They've got a lot of tanks all over the place, but honestly... I think when I click on this, I don't think it's going to show that much. Oh, well that's interesting. It actually says that our power is a lot smaller than theirs. Eh, that kind of makes sense. I mean, you know, the, uh, you know, we've got hardly any men compared to them. I mean, you know, we've got only 340,000, and they've probably got like about 900,000, maybe more, maybe less. But, uh, still at the same time, they've got hardly anything, and even if they did have a lot, they're still, they're still weak. I mean, look at this. He's trying to beat back my tank divisions with... Yeah. What's this? Homel. I've never heard of that city.
Well, I would have to say they are pretty brave for lasting this long. I mean, they're lasting a hell of a lot longer than anyone else I've fought. Everyone else I've fought has pretty much just crumpled into a broken down mass. I mean, like, you look at how fast I destroyed the uh, Poles and uh, destroyed the British. It was just it was just a mockery compared to this. It's just a... I mean, if anything deserved to be called a phony war, that that's certainly something that deserved to be called one. Oh, looks like a lot of my upgrades just finished. That's good. Uh, let's see, what should I build? I've got ten destroyers coming out. I don't think I really need to build those. Um... know why I do that, but whatever, uh, let's, uh, let's get some more carriers. I think I might need more of them. Yeah, I've got better carriers now. Alright, let's, uh, well, actually, wait a second, let me look at my technology. Can I get my carriers a little bit more advanced? Yeah, I could, so I think I'll wait and, uh, actually develop these carriers a little bit more, and then I'll build some more carriers. Because right now I've got pretty, uh, crappy character carriers. They're just, uh, grab stuff in class. They're only level three. They're actually better than the, than the Americans, oddly enough. The Graf Zeppelin class is actually a level 3 compared to the Lexington class, which is a level 2. That's the main uh, carrier class that the Americans built. That's pretty much what they used throughout the entire war. Well, they actually, no, that's not true. They, they mostly use that at the beginning of the war. I think they had other other types at the end of the war that were uh, uh, far superior to the Lexington. Oh, I don't need that much in supplies. I practically am already making enough supplies. Alright, let's just put it like around... 35, maybe 40. Yeah, let's make it 40. That's probably good enough. Okay. Well, probably want to get all that stuff. Haven't even got large warship radar. That'd be really helpful. I think I'm going to build some heavy armor. I think I do need some heavy armor, actually, because that's the only thing that's lacking in my tank divi my uh, infantry divisions right now. So, yeah, we're going to get some VK-3001s. 301 Those are like prototypes of the Tiger-1. So yeah, I'm researching heavy tanks right now. When is that all going to be finished? Around August. Alright, I'll wait. Actually, it'd probably be better to uh, build them right now. That way they wouldn't uh, waste a bunch of uh, time. Alright, so let's get four of them. Four prototype Tiger tanks. You can actually play as a VK in uh, World of Tanks. The game's kind of cool. You can play a lot of different, uh, a lot of different prototype tanks from World War II and uh, around that era. I think the Super Persian is in that game too. I'm not sure though. Yeah, we're gonna win that battle. No problem. Oh, we took over Smolensk. Good. What's their surrender progress now? Forty percent. Nice. Smolensk must be worth more than. Yeah, it's five points. That's probably why it went up so high. Oh, look at that. Novgorod is right there. Because their surrender progress just went down a little bit faster, too. Okay, let's just keep pushing through the north. Yeah, I really think that the Soviet commander, whoever he is, if it's Zhukov, I, I, I don't know what he's doing. But, uh, but honestly, if I was the Soviets, I would just try to fall back and try to keep as many of my uh, choke points open as possible. I try to create a choke point here, like right next to the Crimea, and just stack a lot of units, like right here, and then just kill anything that comes by here. I probably actually try to form a defensive line by this uh, this river right here, and probably this river as well, maybe here, too. I'd probably try to pull back to the Don and Volga, even if I had to. And, uh, considering that Moscow is so close here, I really would try to put all my emphasis on defending this, because when Moscow falls, that's going to drain an enormous amount of their surrender progress. So when they lose that, their their country is going to start really eating, eating a lot of losses. So uh, this is going to be brutal. I mean, the fact that they're not trying to defend their country as well as they should be is a little under a, li a little surprising to me. I mean, you'd think that eventually they'd figure out that they're starting to really lose. I mean, I don't know. It's just a game, and, you know, the AI's not real. I mean, it's real, but it's not, it's not like real life, you know, where guys actually can see what's going on with their country, and, they're, and the fact that they're losing a lot of guys, and all the rest of that. Oh, Christ, these guys are going to attack. Uh, yeah, they're probably going to lose there. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, let's just 
Let's just move those guys up. Let's have these guys attack there. And, uh, Rommel and Guderian, I'm gonna have you, uh, let's see, when's this guy gonna be ready? Alright, let's, let's have them attack up there, actually. That should take some edge off of the, that attack. Oh, good, we just got large warship radar. Alright, um, let's see. Small warship radar. Now I guess I'll just keep researching that. Yeah, right now I just need to hunker down and try to be as conservative as possible because I do have a lot of land to manage. I should just let the, um, let the Italians and the Japanese deal with all the random stuff while I, uh, finish off the Soviets. Because once I finish off the Soviets, that'll just be a huge thorn in my side removed. And, uh, after that, then I can focus on maintaining my colonies. And then... I'll go around mopping up all the random countries that didn't join me, like Turkey and, uh... Romania, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Nationalist Spain, Sweden, Finland, Persia, Saudi Arabia, all these other countries. And once I've taken over all this stuff, then I'll think about taking over the U.S. I'll have to take over Canada, too, and, uh, maybe South America. Maybe, uh, well, actually, South America's being guaranteed by the, uh, U.S. I think I'll take out Australia as well, if, uh, the Japanese don't beat me to it. <coughs> Now, I think I'm going to finish off the conquest of the British Isles. Let's uh, declare war in Ireland. Well, look at that. Instead of joining the Allies, they join the common turn. That is nuts. Can you believe that? Ireland now has a backwards N. That's crazy. Why on earth would the Irish join the common turn? I know what my friend Mike would say. Yes. <laughs> That's the reason. Yes. Just. A simple yes. Oh my god, look at how they deployed their troops. Those fools! Why on earth did they put their guys up there like that? Now all I have to do is just take over that, and then they... I rest my case. The AI is completely broken in this game. Yes, that's right. Iraq, take over all that stuff. All those... Wait a minute. What the hell? Oh, the... Italians actually gave me an expeditionary force. How nice of them. Well, thank you, Italy. I'll, I'll definitely use it. I had no idea they did that. That's that's really nice of them. I I didn't even realize they had done that. That's that's nice. Yeah, let's move this HQ up just a little bit, so those guys don't don't have this such a huge amount of uh, loss of uh, stuff. I wonder if the Finns gonna join me. I mean, they're so close. I can feel it. They really want to join the Axis. I mean, they're so close. Yeah, they just gotta... Their interest just has to go down just slightly. I bet the Irish are gonna be easier to conquer than the... than the, uh... British. I mean, they have such a small army and they've put it in such a terrible position, it's just... I mean, the idea that they're not trying to defend Dublin more, it looks like they only have one tr one unit over here defending Dublin while they have a bunch of guys just sitting up here waiting to get surrounded. So yeah, once again, the AI graces us with its wonderful strategic skill. Yes, that's right, Bhutan, just take over all the random territory that I didn't... In that I inherited from Britain. It's unfortunate that I can't do that much about it, because I, I really do need to finish off all these other European powers c to consolidate my power over here, because this is really the mo most important, is to take over Europe. And once I've taken over Europe, that should be the end of all this stuff. So I'll take over Europe, maybe I'll send a couple units down to deal with South Africa and uh, and the Indian countries, take over, um, take over the, uh, well, get, ri get rid of the, uh, rebels down here, kill off Yemen and Oman, kill off Iraq if the Italians don't beat me to it, kill off Australia and New Zealand, and then I think that'll be it, really. And then I'll just finish off all the rest of these things. So let's, uh, get back to this. Where are, th where is their surrender progress? Oh wow, they're only f already at 42%. If I take over, uh, a bunch of these other cities, and if the Hungarians can get over to Odessa, that'll really, that'll really beat the crap out of their, uh, yeah, we'll take over Kiev, and that's five. That's five right there. Yeah, let's do that. Right, let's 
see how they're doing. Okay, looks like they're going to win the battle. That's good. Let's move these guys up. Have those HQs capture that stuff. Move those guys up. Yes, and we have slaughtered the Irish army. They've totally lost all their organization and everything. Not a big surprise there. I mean, they probably don't even have any tanks or anything. It's only been about... I can't remember when exactly they were given independence from Britain. Somewhere around in the 30s or 20s, I believe. Probably in the 30s, actually. Let's just move all these guys up. No, you were not going to get over there. Well, if you do, then I'm going to just beat you back just like I have before. <laughs> army. Where is that? Is that right there? Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, so that just gives random uh, guys that I don't really care about extra stuff. Let's uh, get more carrier doctrines. Oh wow, the upgrades have almost completely gone down. I don't need that much in supplies. I think I'm gonna get some stukas. Let's uh, let's finally build some uh, close assaults, close air support. Get six of them, two squadrons. Well, two uh, two squadron groups rather. There's probably like about ten squadrons in each unit because there's a hundred hundred planes in each unit. What is the Vichy French one? Oh, they want to give me metal. Oh, they want to give me metal, rather. Yeah, I am starting to lose metal. <laughs> starting. I have 60,000. Almost 70,000. So I'm curious how the Abra is doing. Let's see. So yeah, they're just building complete crap. They're just building infantry and tanks. Nothing, really. They probably don't even have that much I see left. Yeah, Stalin's still in power. See how the U.S. is doing. I'm building a massive amount of destroyers. That really is not useful. I'm building marines. Building bombers. Building radar stations. Industrial capacity. Marines. The wasp. Convoys. A lot of IC. Yeah, they just want as much as possible. Oh, they've got 500 right now. Hmm. I've almost got it. They've almost got as much IC as I do. Actually, well, in terms of uh, actual IC, they've got they've got more than I do, but uh, I've got more. Um, well, actual IC. That's not correct. Uh, but what I meant to say is um, in use uh, IC. What is this doing? Proletary. Like Soviet man. Yeah, we'll surround those guys and that'll be the end of that. Yeah, that's right, take over every territory of mine. Oh, I'll just surround you, you idiots. I don't even know why they're even doing any of that. Let's push up these guys. Right through that tank division. I think the reason my uh, infantry are doing so well against tank divisions, I mean, they're not perfect, but they are doing pretty well, um, is because the... Uh, So what I was going to say is uh, the uh, tank divisions, you know, are pretty light, and I have anti-tank uh, anti uh, brigades, so that's uh, probably the main reason why. Yeah, they surrounded them. That's okay. It's not that big of a deal. They like to surround. It's their favorite pastime. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we're going to lose that battle, I guess. All right, let's just stop that. Uh, let's move these guys up. Probably need more support than just those two units. In fact, I put so few guys over here. Oh my god, look at that tank division. It's about to get beaten right there. No, that's not good. Yeah, let's have these guys attack down there. I think I'm losing a lot of organization because I'm finding a lot of bloody battles. Shoot. Oh well, at least they didn't die. Oh, look at that. They're actually attacking me. 
that's just sport attack actually. Hmm. Let's see how backwards and Ireland is doing. Take a look at that. still be winning, that's ridiculous. I guess these guys are attacking across the river. For some reason they're getting the bombing too. Yep, the South Africans are starting to push up. And the Irish are still trying to desperately fight me back, but mostly they're just losing um, organization and uh, strength. seems to me that they're actually pretty good at sensing when they're going to lose a battle so they don't try to fight it. That's actually pretty clever because that way they don't lose as much organization as me. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, I've got them on the run so much. It's just over. Oh, let's look at Iraq. I, I think I might be able to use my uh, expeditionary force. Oh, they gave me even more expeditionary forces. That's nice of them. Hmm. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go beat the Iraqis. Let's attach to that core. to Moscow. Just need to push through. Need to get rid of all these random units all over the place and push through with my tanks to the north and come around and encircle them. Let's have these guys go over here and cut these guys off. Let's have those guys attack over there. Oh, we finally killed off that cavalry division. Oh wait, we didn't. Never mind. Alright. Alright, let's move over there. I wonder how many troops he has. Kind of interesting to see, actually. Attack those guys before they break through. Attack those guys, try to push forward more towards Moscow. Gotta keep the pressure on them, that's vitally important. Oh, they've moved up to another, oh, I see they had another, uh, British nationalists? Oh, 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 never mind. Yeah. Sorry, I, I thought they were national socialists. <laughs> I thought that would have been enormously ironic to have national socialists rebelling against the ultimate national socialist state. But I uh, completely misread that. Yes, that's right, push my HQ back. Like I really care. Yes, that's right, and attack me over there too. Alright, Ron won't go up there and push the push more towards uh, the north. You go over there, take over that city, and uh, Guderian support him. There we go. Come on, Ron will break through. It's just a damn river. Oh, we got more max in organization for infantry, that's good. Let's 
Yeah, but we're all refining. I feel like I'm probably gonna need that eventually. Alright, go Darian, go help Rommel. I don't know why he's doing so badly. I mean, he's the best general in the game. It's just a river. It's not like it's a big deal to fight off an infantry division with a tank division. All those idiots, that's why they're losing so bad. Alright, so we beat the Iraqis down there with the, uh, expeditionary force the uh, Italians gave to me. Let's push up with those guys. Let's use the, uh... Oh, this is the little infrastructure. Alright, let's move these guys up. Oh, attacking the HQ. I don't even know how that's happening, but whatever. Let's have these guys attack. Let's get rid of those guys. Alright, there we go. I think we killed off those guys. Yeah, there we go. I'll rate those guys. I'll just go down there, and we'll just kill these guys off. Let's take out Lub uh, Dublin. almost called it Lublin for some reason. Ooh, we're on the offensive now, that's for damn sure. These, some of these guys are way too far back. It's okay. Not a big deal. Yeah, as soon as the Finns join and the Romanians join, this is going to be crazy. Let's see how they're doing in terms of uh, diplomacy. They're a lot farther away than the uh, Finns are. I think the Finns are just about ready to join the Axis. Yeah. Let's see how many victory points. So just uh, Cork and Dublin. Very well. Yes, I don't care. on Kluge up. <laughs> wow, he's already level 6 and yet he hasn't even fought a single battle himself. Well, <laughs> it's a little bit of an understatement considering he's the uh, Grand Commander of the East. Oh, you bastards. How the hell are you resisting them? Well, who knows? Who cares? <laughs> See when these guys will finish their uh, reorganization. All right, 24 hours. They can probably hold out by then. Okay, let's move these guys up. Let's move these guys up. Let's move these guys through. Oh, of course, they're gonna lose because they don't have enough high organization. That's all right. Just attack them in a different place. guys can move up. I'll move them over here. We need more support around uh, Moscow. Let's kill off these guys. Actually, we probably want to, you know, waiting for fuel. I guess I can't even have them attack. Alright. Um, yeah, Raul and Guderian are pushing up there. That's good. Oh! We can invite Felon. Excellent. Alright, Felon. Want to join the Axis? Thank you. Yes, we will. <laughs> Alright, Finland. Why don't we... Why don't we take out, uh... The common turn. 
I guess I can't really call it the Soviet Union anymore because uh, <laughs> there's more than just the Soviet Union to this. Uh, Ireland is actually part of the so uh, common turn now. It's very strange. I've never seen them join anything. I've never even seen them join the Allies. They usually just remain neutral, and then when you attack them, they just fight for themselves, and that's it. In fact, usually I think they actually uh, think the uh, think they usually join the Allies. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Attack Rommel and Guderian right as soon as they take over something. You idiots. They'll just lose. Yeah, you've been slaughtered. All right, let's have Rommel push down there, and let's have Guderian support him. Oh wow, he's lost a lot of his organization and manpower too. Oh, Christ. Oh well, he can't win them all. Rommel himself wasn't able to uh, beat back the British before the Americans arrived on the scene in North Africa. Oh, thank you, Portugal. How oh, nice of you. I don't really need it, but uh, thank you anyway. Spain gave me military access too. How nice of them. Maybe I won't destroy them after all. I mean, if I can move through their territory, I don't really care, honestly. I mean, in all in all honesty, I probably don't even need to deal with a lot of this stuff. Oh, looks like Canadians are going to take over Newfoundland. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, all this is just small potatoes compared to what what's going on here. I mean, once I take out the Soviet Union, you know, as I've said before, that's that's the end of it. They won't have that much of a chance. Come on, Finland, do something. Don't just sit on your ass and let me do all the work. It's time for you to get revenge. In fact, why don't I just push down here with these troops and then just go through here and take out the rest of this part? I think I will do that, actually. Oh, you idiots. Alright, let's... These guys up there. Around this guy, too, I guess. Oh, really? So now we have to fight Sing Kiang, too. And they have a backwards end as well. It's amazing how so many of these countries have ends in their names Japan, Germany, Soviet Union, Sing Kiang, Britain, Ireland. There's <laughs> a lot of lands. A lot of lands. Plastic defense, that's good. And the world is getting much more polarized. Everyone's choosing a side, except for the U.S. I guess I can help the Finns a little bit. It seems like their army isn't pushing up that far anyway. And they've even let them take over some of this stuff, so they may not even have enough men to deal with all this stuff. Alright, let's just move these. Well, actually, when are these guys, guys going to arrive? Three days. Alright, just just pull back. It's not that big of a deal. We did well. Let's just, uh, let's just wait for them to attack. Well, 
that's nice. More doctrines, the better. The more effective my army will be, and the more faster I'll take over the Soviet Union. organization. That's bad. And they're bombing him, of course. <laughs> These guys are just desperately trying to attack. Where's Moscow? Oh. Alright, Rommel, you can redeem yourself a little bit, I guess. Oh yeah, Guderian's just right there. That's good. Oh, he'll, he'll, uh... In fact, maybe I should move my fighters up just a tiny bit. Minsk. Oh, they're not even doing it anymore. Alright, that's probably why they're getting bombed so much. Alright, you guys were based to uh, Minsk, too. Oh, good. We got our warfare equipment. Uh, let's see. I guess we can get jungle. We're probably going to be fighting somewhere over there. Guys, uh, uh, let's let him wait first. Alright, that's a massive force. Oh, they took back. Sp oh, that's right, that's Smolensk over there. Kang is mobilizing. Yep. Tibet wants to trade with me. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, so Nepal is pushing up and these guys are pushing up too. What are the Japanese doing? They're so slow. They're not doing anything practically. They're just waiting. I'm really pissed off at the Japanese. They really should be taking over a lot more of this stuff, but they're not. I mean, it just doesn't make that much sense. So Moscow is right there. Still pretty far away. I'll get there eventually, I suppose. Too many men and too too many tanks. Way too many tanks. We should not have this many tanks. Definitely not 1940. That's for damn sure. Let's try to catch these guys in the encirclement. Oh, two oh infrastructure right there. All right. Finally took back that. Looks like they're starting to take over Kola too, that's good. This is Kola, by the way. It's just that uh, edge of Finland to the right. How are the Irish doing? Ready to surrender yet? I don't want to take over Dublin. I still probably don't want to surrender until I take over Cork too. Wait a minute there, I know what I did wrong there. Okay, there we go. No, I don't want them to randomly start aligning towards the Allies or anything like that. <laughs> Down with the AI would try to do something stupid like that. You're not 
they're gonna beat up Rommel when he's weak. Darian's gonna defend his ass until he gets back on his feet. Yeah, Rindulik, you really shouldn't attack there. Okay. Even though you killed a lot of guys, it's not a good thing to lose. Friends. One, two, one, one, instructor, alright. There. And let's finally attack these stupid guards down here and break through there. What's that? Oh, attack that, I see. There really isn't that much up here in the far north. As you can see by the victory points things. Are starting to take back their territory, that's nice. I'll take back most of it, obviously, but uh, <laughs> I'll take back some of it. Right, let's finish this. And these total fools. Lenin, and there's Moscow. Very close. Very close. No, it took back small ones, that's good. And they're about fifty percent away from surrendering. As soon as they take over victory point, that's the end of them. Ah, mass assault, central plane, and special forces. All those lovely land doctrines to increase the power of my country. Oh, great, no image. Alright, I think that's probably where I'll stop now. So, I know this is probably really boring compared to the other episodes. There's nothing really major happened. I mean, you know still just trying to finish off the Soviets, and it's going to take a while, you know, I mean, the Hungarians look like they're finally starting to break through, and, uh, the Finns have joined, so that's going to even up the odds, and I think, and I think the Soviets are starting to finally lose in the middle, and I'm, uh, pushing up very close to Moscow, I think I'm within about 100 kilometers of it now. So, uh, I'll see you guys when, uh, I get this upload and I have time to record the next episode. So see you later, see you later, guys. Bye bye.